Thank you for joining us on this edition of the show. Our guest develops chatbots for organizations and she shares some interesting insight about the technology. Our tech tip is on six ways to prevent phone spying and look out for our online security segment. We have much more lined up for you. But first, some tech news and updates. This is Tech Trends and I'm Chukomeka Agbata. By 2034, Africa is expected to have the world's largest working age population of 1.1 billion and yet only 3 to 4 million jobs are created annually. In recent times, digital skills has become one of the major driving force for economic development in most countries. The internet and technology offer great opportunities for creating jobs, growing businesses and boosting economies. But the right skills, tools and products to navigate the digital world is the challenge for people. Andela, a global engineering organization, is one of those who is also playing their part in empowering young talented programmers in Africa by shaping them into technical leaders and distributing them to team members with companies that range from Microsoft and IBM to dozens of high growth startups. The kind of work culture that we're trying to create this space actually allows us to do that. We have meeting rooms that are named after many of the different locations that we are based in. And we also have our developers making sure that they book, they, they sustain best, best practice when it comes to reserving a meeting room when they have to jump on a call. Or also, there are also spaces that just allow people just be the best of themselves. You are working here and you don't feel like you are box stop, you're in a formal office setting, you feel like you're at home. I mean, if you walk around the office today and you talk to a couple of people, they tell you that they feel very comfortable staying here after hours. I mean, the, I think that one of the most amazing things is that we have nap rooms that people don't even use. Randomly, you walk up to a nap room and you see that it's empty. We're talking of a building of over 330 something people and Everybody just wants to be at their workstation. Nobody wants to take a break. The training and education program unites qualified African students, regardless of age or income, with leading developers who teach them to code. Within six months of starting the program, those students who have been accepted start to be placed at technology companies that partner with Andela and receive continual training and professional development. Currently, I'm working with a partner based in San Francisco, Gobo. It's a food company. I work as a Ruby and Rails backend developer, helping them build the day-to-day -day products. Um, so it's nice to work with international partners because you get the experience right from home. Um, so that, I've been doing that for about three months and I've been growing incredibly well on the project. There are a lot of senior developers, so you get feedback really quickly. Um, the good thing about Andela is that when you come in, you get a lot of training. There's a community, there's the culture, and there's just career support. So when you start off, even if you're not sure of where you want to go, there's a lot of imbued um, direction of where you can go with your career. In a study by Sub-Saharan Africa Talent Trends and Practices 2013-2014, 31% of firms in the region are employing the same number of experts, while 16% plan to hire more. This is caused by a result of skill shortage amongst ICT graduates due to low levels of awareness of careers in ICT among young people. With so much hard work required from the interns to become great software developers, there's also a fun part of learning. If you have someone who's working eight hour, nine hour days, it's always good to have something that they do where they are taken out of the work environment as, you know, sitting and looking at your computer for, for ends, you know, you, you're taken out of that. It just gives you a sense of, uh, enables you to refresh your mind, so to speak. For example, on Fridays, some Fridays we have what we call live jam sessions. People who have the knack for music, uh, musical instruments, those that can sing, we gather out here in a patio. We have the beautiful, you know, coated ground, and people just get together, just, you know, play music. With an acceptance rate of 0.7%, it's harder to get into Andela than Harvard. Less than 1% of those who apply are accepted in comparison to Harvard, who admit 6% of applicants and Princeton 7.1%. The company says they have a vision to train 100,000 elite developers in the next 10 years. 